Hi everyone and welcome to today's science lesson on the human ear. We're going to be looking at the parts of the ear and their functions, what they do. So our learning challenge is how does the ear work? So our ears, the human ear is incredible. Ears can sense sound in the form of vibrations and send and receive signals from the brain. Okay, Yet the only part of the ear we ever actually see is this bit here, yet there's far more to it than, uh, than what we see in the outer ear. So let's have a look closely. If possible, look in a mirror or look at somebody else's in your house and you'll be able to see the outer structure of the ear. So if I turn like this way, you can see my ear around my grey hair. So take a minute to describe your ear. What do you notice? What do you see? OK, during this lesson, you're going to find out about the parts of the ear that you can see and the bits that you can't. You'll also learn what each part's function is too. So the pinna, OK, this is the outer ear. This is the bit here that you can move around that's on the outside of your head. The pinna is made up of a substance called cartilage and it's covered by skin. Its job is to funnel sound into the ear canal. So what happens is sound waves are coming from the source. Those sound waves hit the pinna. It focuses those sounds and channels it inside the ear. Now, if you're wondering what cartilage is, it's kind of like a bony structure, but it's not hard. So, for example, your nose, that has cartilage here at the front. Your ear is cartilage as well. So it's enough to give structure, but it can be bent. OK. The ear canal is the next part. So once the pinna has focused the sounds into the ear, that's those sound waves then in, uh, enter the ear canal. That tends to be the bit that gets filled up with wax. OK, now it's a short tube that, a tube that transmits sound from the pinna to the eardrum. So we get to the eardrum here and the eardrum is a thin, tough layer of skin tissue that is at the end of the auditory canal. Now, the sound ma uh, waves make the eardrum vibrate. They make it wobble a bit like a drum backwards and forwards, hence its name, an eardrum. OK, now, as the, as the eardrum wobbles backwards and forwards, it makes a set of three bones wobble as well. The malleus, the incus and the stapes, also known as the hammer, the anvil and the stirrup. Three bones connected to the eardrum. So as the eardrum wobbles, as it oscillates, it makes the hammer oscillate and wobble backwards and forward, which makes the anvil oscillate, which makes the stirrup oscillate. So everything starts to wobble, OK? Um, these bones are actually the smallest bones in the human body, OK? Now, what these bones do is that the small vibrations that you get on the eardrum, it makes those vibrations bigger. It amplifies the vibration. It means that the signal becomes louder, for want of a better way to put it, OK? And they then go... The vibrations go then from the eardrum to something called the cochlea. So the cochlea is this funny purple squiggly thing that you can see in this diagram. And it's an organ that is filled with fluid. OK, so there's a liquid inside it. Now, a receptor, a receptor, shell, uh, <laughs> receptor cells change the vibrations in the fluid into electrical impulses. OK, so it changes the wobble of the liquid to create an electrical impulse that can be used in the nervous system in the body. Now, I added this onto here as well, because it's just good for knowing. Semicircular canals, that's these bits here at the top that the arrow's pointing to. They're also filled with liquid and little hairs inside them, and they're responsible for your sense of balance. So this is why if you've been on, let's say, a roundabout and you've been spinning around really, really fast, and then you get off and you're wobbling all over the place and you can't find your balance. And the reason for that is that the liquid that's inside the semicircular canals is swishing around trying to rebalance itself. And until that rebalances itself, you're going to feel dizzy. So the eustachian tube, OK, that's this thing here where the arrow goes to. It connects the middle ear to the nasal cavity. So that's where your nose is. It regulates the pressure within the ear. And that's sometimes like when your ears need to pop and you hold, you know, you, hold your nose and you swallow it relieves the pressure because your ears your mouth your nose they're all interconnected with one another that's why you get a cold it bungs everything up so your task today is quite simple really um the first one is to label the parts of the ear well if you go back through this presentation that should help you with that you've got the auditory canal the auditory nerve the eardrum the cochlea and the outer ear okay 
Then you've got a series of statements at the side, and your job is to put those statements into the correct orders from one to six, okay? Guys, good luck with that task. If you need any help, let me know. See you later. Bye-bye.